Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna take a look back at what Flex Wheeler said in his interview about Dexter Jackson and all current top bodybuilders. So basically he said that Dexter was 10th while Flex was 1st, and that kind of sends a message about the current bodybuilders, the current top 6. Uh, let's take a look at this first. So these guys compared to you, compared to your era. I mean, I gotta be honest, no. No, no. I competed with two of them, except Brandon Dexter was the first to win Olympia. And when we competed on the same stage, I think I was like first and he was like 10th, you know? So it was just different, yeah. You know, Dexter didn't fare that well against us. Oh, whoa, you know guys what this means. It's comparison time. We're gonna compare Flex Wheeler against nobody else but Dexter Jackson. So this is one of the photos when they stood next to each other and it didn't really happen that often because it's true. Back in Flex's days, Dexter was not in the top callouts. But later, things kind of changed and we're gonna get to that in a minute. But uh, as for now, you can take a look at this photo right here. Ronnie basically dwarfing these two guys. Now I'm sure he got the angle a little bit and he's fully flexed while these guys are semi-flexed or totally relaxed, but it's their fault, nobody made them relax and nobody told Ronnie to flex, but he just wanted to do it, he was a professional, doesn't matter, it's not about Ronnie right here, it's about the flex versus uh, Dexter, so as you can see in this comparison right there, it's not that far apart, right, I mean flex was better as far as placings, but it's not a huge difference. So remember the height difference, I'm gonna try to use the same height difference, the good ratio, but I'm probably not gonna get it perfect, I'm gonna try my best though. So Flex says that when he was competing, he was first, while Dexter was 10th. I'm not sure which competitions was that the case, but we're gonna look at Mr. Olympia right now. It could have been the case at the Arnold Classic or Knight of Champions, but let's check the Mr. Olympia. So, 1999, first Olympia ever for Dexter Jackson, he took 9th place, while Flex was of course second right behind Ronnie. I also highlighted the 14th place, which is Jay Cutler. So basically, just to make a point, if Flex says that uh, Dexter was placing 10th during the 90s, does that mean the same thing about Jay Cutler? Was Jay Cutler much worse than, uh, than Flex because of this? Because he was 14th in 1999? Yeah, that's just something to, to remember, but not really the focus of this video. Let's go with the next year, as you can see, 2000. So Jay Cutler, as you can see, climbed up and he beat Dexter Jackson this year. Flex fell down for one place. Kevin Leveroni took that second spot. And that was the last time we saw Flex Wheeler at the Mr. Olympia, of course, uh, until 2017, where he tried himself in classic physique. And yeah, Flex was top 3, Dexter was 9th place, so it's true what Flex is saying. But what about next year, 2001, where Jay Cutler was, of course, the runner-up, almost won the Mr. Olympia, but uh, Dexter took 3rd, very, very strong 3rd spot. And where was Flex Filler here? He didn't compete. If he competed, would he be 4th or 3rd? What would happen then? It's only 1 year. 1 year. And the point that I'm gonna try to make right here is that Dexter grew. He grew so much from the 90s. Right now, he is a much bigger bodybuilder. 1999 was his first Mr. Olympia ever. Nine years after his Mr. Olympia debut, he won the damn thing. He became the Mr. Olympia champion. Something Flex was never able to accomplish. Sure, Ronnie was the reigning champ and Dorian before that. Those guys were really strong established, but take a look at his physique, it's marvelous. And Jay Cutler was no joke, and Victor Martinez, and these guys are just also very, very good bodybuilders. But Dexter bested them all by winning the Mr. Olympia 2008, something that Flex was never able to accomplish. But you know what, right here, Dex was at his prime. He was still young and fresh, and he was matured enough and conditioned, and he was big. It wouldn't be fair to use this edition of uh, Dexter Jackson because he was pretty much perfect. We're gonna use something else. So, what about his last edition, Mr. Olympia 2019? Certainly he was good. He was good. But he wasn't as good as he was in 2008. Let's not even joke about it. And he was not as good as he was at the Tampa. So, uh, it wouldn't be fair to use something from uh, 10 years ago, or 2008 was 12 years ago, because... Flex was asked what he thinks about the current era. 
So we're gonna use the current editions of these guys, and in this case of Dexter. Not Mr. Olympia, because I don't really like this one, he was a little bit watery. We're gonna use the Tampa Pro Edition. So let's begin. And of course, we're gonna use the Flex's last edition of 2017, Mr. Olympia. Just joking, just joking. I got you there for a moment, I got you there. No, we're gonna use uh, whatever we can find, really, because you cannot find exactly all the poses from one competition, from one year. What I can find on Google, that's what I'm gonna use. So let's begin. And so we start with the front double bicep. It looks like this was, for example, 1998, because Flex's arms do look kind of scintillish, and the lats as well, and uh, probably Cal's too, we cannot see them though right now. He looks bigger than what he was in 1992, for example. And of course, this is Dexter from the Tampa for 2019. Who do we have winning this pose? I would go with Flex. I would go with Flex because his waist is much smaller and it sets everything else. Waist, the midsection, is the core of the physique. It's literally the core, so it kind of sets the tempo for everything else. In comparison to a waist, it's how big your body looks. Of course, if you were standing next to a guy, it would show if you had bigger arms, bigger legs, but uh, right here in this, in this comparison, I would just go with flex. I need, uh, I need to say that because uh, Dexter was more conditioned, for sure. He had better striations, deeper striations, thinner skin and everything, but his left bicep started to melt, you know, and the triceps as well, the whole arm is really asymmetrical. I think the same thing is happening with his lats and the waist mainly, that's basically the only problem. Uh, the point that I was trying to make in this video is that Dexter grew a lot from back when uh, Flax was beating him so decisively, but uh, the case isn't really changed that much today. Flex is still better, at least in this pose, in these two examples. Let's go with the next pose. Front lat spread is one of the weakest poses for Dexter, let's be honest. And uh, in this case, his waist is pretty blown up. It wasn't that bad, of course, in, in 2008, but uh, here it's pretty bad. And just look at the waist of Flex Wheeler. I mean, his arms uh, look like those Sintel freaks from Brazil or whatever. It's really obvious that it's Sintel is. But still, it looks it looks better. I mean, overall the physique. Sure, his arms are soft and oily, but they are just much bigger and they create better illusion. Not just the arms, but the look at the waist, the shoulder ratio, the lats, the way they're popping, um, legs. Very close, very close. I think I would even go with uh, with Dexter because of the the thickness of them, but the size of them compared to the waist, the X taper is really amazing on, on flex. So, 2019 version of Dexter can't really touch Flex at his prime, whichever year this was. I'm, I'm guessing 1998. Let's go with the next pose. The next pose is side chest. Now, this is a version of uh, Flex Wheeler when he was younger. I'm guessing 1993. But even here, when he was younger, he still looks more impressive. I mean, sure, Dexter's chest looks thicker. His legs could potentially be thicker. The shoulders, maybe they look a little bit drier and harder, but just look at those insane proportions of Flex Miller. This was just insanity. This was just insane. I can see why so many people have Flex as their favorite bodybuilder of all time. These freaky genetics, these cartoonish genetics are just insane. No matter how much a guy is thicker than him, he still looks freaking phenomenal. Just take a look at this. It's amazing, really. I don't know what the judges would be looking at, would they be looking at conditioning, the thickness, or something like that, but uh, when I look at these two physics, I find uh, Flex physique more impressive. I don't know what you guys think, but I just see it that way, unfortunately, for, for Dexter. Let's go with the next pose. At the Mr. Olympia contest, and the Tampa Pro as well, Dexter didn't hit the side tricep in his uh, posing routine, but he hits this kind of variation or a transition. After he hits the side chest, he does this. So this is the best that I got from uh, Dexter's for the side tricep, and it's a very decent side tricep, it's really front tricep uh, of Flex Wheeler, or maybe just the angle uh, from where the photo was taken. It's not really fair to compare these two, but I'm sure the result will be the same. Flex will win this one as well, probably, but I'm not saying that because I can't really see it, I can't really judge it. Let's go with the next pose. So it's abs and thighs pose. As far as abs, Flex is definitely so much better, but as far as the thighs, Right here, Flex doesn't really look that good. Based on his mustache, I believe this was 2000, the year 2000, 
and uh, he was starting to fade away slowly. The conditioning started to suffer, so his traditions and, and, and the separations in his quads are not as good as Dexter's. He was not as dry as him, but his arms looked insane, his lats weren't popping as much, but his abs were on point, and he had calves as well. Probably made of oil, but uh, pff, look, it was calves nonetheless, unlike Dexter who has none. So, I mean, you cannot give this one to Dexter, I mean, let's be real. Maybe he has uh, some traits, but I mean, just because of the stomach and because of the waist, yeah, flex is much better. Let's go to the next pose. Now we get to the most muscular, and Dexter, he looks great, and you would think he had a chance, but not against this version of flex. I don't know which year this was, but flex was huge. He was so bubbly, he was so full and conditioned at the same time. And um, even though Dexter looks great in the in the most muscular, it could be just the lighting, <laughs> but probably not. The flag just looks much better. He wins this pose as well. Let's go to the next one. I'm pretty sure this is the 1993 version of Flex Wheeler, and this is one of the arguments that uh, Dexter has about the 90s bodybuilders. So he basically says that uh, he was competing back then and nobody had shredded glutes. Well, it's not really the case that nobody had them, but some of the guys. Some of the top guys really didn't have them. As you can see right here, it's Ronnie versus Flex in the back relaxed pose. And as you can see, uh, Ronnie had shredded glutes. It's not the lighting or anything else. It's just uh, Flex never really got his conditioning to that level. His glutes were sure lean, but not shredded, not straighted like Ronnie's right here. So it's true what Dexter was saying. Even though Flex might be having superior shape, his glutes weren't as peeled and the hamstrings as well, and the lower back too, so I would give this one to Dexter, finally, one pose for Dexter to win. And the last pose for today is, of course, uh, back double bicep, one of the most important poses uh, in bodybuilding, and the same story, again, Flex's glutes weren't as conditioned. Obviously, this is Flex from his early years, it could be 1993, I'm not sure though, and uh, of course, uh, you can see right here that his glutes are not as, as conditioned. Back was amazing, he was really gifted with it, just like with any other muscle, but uh, his lower back and glutes and hamstrings weren't as peeled and as striated, uh, just like Dexter's are. So if this was just a glute competition, if the judges were paying so much attention about who was more conditioned, who had better glutes, and if these guys were standing next to each other actually on a stage, and uh, Flex's conditioning was exposed, like that, no shredded glutes, fat glutes or watery glutes or whatever. That could be a good argument for uh, for Dexter to actually win. Even though he loses most of the poses, he has better conditioning. That's the case. And he is not as, as weak as he was back in 1999. He grew a lot since that point. You guys know, 2001 he was third. He was third and Flex wasn't there. So that's kind of... Not really, not exactly the best argument that Flex came up with, but uh, pose for pose, Flex still does win majority of the poses, even though Dexter is much better today, much bigger at least, than what he was during the 90s. When I was searching for Flex's photos, I found this one, but his arms are looking just like two times bigger than his head. I don't know if this is real or Photoshop, you tell me down below. But if it is real, this is freaking impressive. This is just <laughs> insane. Insane. So, guys, overall, what do you think? How would Flex fare against these guys today? Would he leave Dexter in dust? Would that be the case or not? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. But before I leave, I wanted to show you this as well. I just stumbled upon this <laughs> while I was searching for, for photos. I don't know how did this come up as recommended, but... <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I, I laughed at this. And the longer you look at it, it more and more seems like it's real. <laughs> because Nathan does have a long torso, but this is actually what is real the case. This is his torso. It's long, but it's not that long. That but was funny. I went totally off topic. But anyways, guys, once again, comment down below. Tell me who you think was better, Dexter or Flex Wheeler. Like the video if you enjoyed it, then please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.